Hey guys, uh, it's Rich here, General Manager of 360 Fitness Sherwood Park. Uh, we've made a new video series introducing each one of our trainers so you, our clients, and our lovely fans on social media can get to know us a little bit better, learn a little bit about our struggles, and get to know a little bit of the, uh, the fun stuff for us. So I have Jen with me here, and she's just going to ask me 10 questions that you, the clients, and a couple of the trainers got together and uh, brainstormed for this video. So Jen, take it away. All right, here we go. Rich, where did you grow up? I grew up in Whitehorse, Yukon, actually. I was born and raised there for uh, 17 years, and then I moved down to Alberta. Awesome. What is your least favorite exercise? My least favorite exercise would have to be leg extensions. Not leg extensions, sorry, leg curls. Um, they're very awkward, and uh, I don't have the strongest hamstrings. Anymore, so. What is one guilty pleasure song you can sing the lyrics to? Oh, God. Um, Heaven on Earth is a good one uh, by Belinda Carlisle. Uh, Hooked on a Feeling is, a, is another newer one that I've really liked. Uh, 99 Problems by Jay-Z is probably the best one. <laughs> Care to give us a taste? Of uh, no, I'm not going <laughs> to sing any of 99 Problems uh, on film. Let's keep this PG. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if calories didn't count, what would you eat every day? God, what would I eat? Uh, I would eat donuts, I would eat pizza, uh, French fries, potato chips, you name it, uh, get in my belly, I'd love, I'd love to eat some donuts right now, honestly. Okay, uh, who is your childhood idol? My childhood idol? Uh, I was a big wrestling fan growing up, so I'd probably say uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, uh, those were big ones, hockey, it was uh, Eric Lindros, I always dreamed of growing a little bit taller than five foot seven, but that never happened. <laughs> what fitness myth irritates you the most? Uh, that you have to eat less to lose weight. Uh, that's kind of one of the biggest myths out there. Um, you know, when, when you severely uh, deprive your body of calories, your body's just going to hold on to the food you eat anyways. So uh, why, why not enjoy the food that you're eating? Eat healthier, eat a little bit more, and keep yourself full. Have a little bit of fun with it too. Totally. Okay. What is something you struggle with in your own fitness and health plan? Uh, I lack patience in my own fitness and health plan. Um, honestly, Following a program and wanting to see results immediately is something I really, really struggle with. If I don't see changes within the first couple of days, I get a little discouraged. Uh, and then I just have to remind myself over and over and over again that it takes time to see these changes and uh, you know, stick with the program because it's going to work in the long run. Awesome. What is one thing most people don't know about you? Uh, there's probably a lot of people don't know about me, especially growing up in Whitehorse. Uh, one of the stories I like to share um, when people ask me this question is uh, back when I was eight years old, they have something in the Yukon called the rubber ducky race. And uh, it's basically where they take a dump truck, they pour a bunch of rubber duckies into the Yukon River, they float to a net, the first one wins uh, $1,000 and I happen to be the first one in it. So at eight years old, I won $1,000 and kind of lost my mind about that. <laughs> Another good one is uh, I won a year supply of Captain Crunch along with three boxes of uh, X-Men toys to play with when I was six or seven. So those were pretty cool. That's amazing. <laughs> that would even be cool now. Absolutely. <laughs> um, if you had to pick one staff member to do 100 burpees, who would it be? Uh, who wouldn't I pick? I'd, I'd probably pick uh, a little bit for everyone, but if I had to pick just one, I think uh, I think seeing Sean do 100 burpees would be something uh, <laughs> to see. Okay. What would be one piece of advice you would give someone starting a fitness plan? Um, just, just stay consistent with everything. Uh, one, of, one of the hardest things is just to follow a program. Uh, but if you can build up that consistency and find kind of that balance in, in your life, it's going to go a long way. So if you're good Monday through Friday, you know, try to just do that extra little step on uh, Saturday and Sunday. You know, don't pig out, obviously, but just try to keep it as consistent as possible and focus on chipping away at it 1% at a time. Okay. And what would you say to someone who's having a hard time? Uh, someone that's having a hard time, it, this would be a two-part uh, thing. Number one is just stay patient, stay and persevere. Stay on the track you are. You, you haven't you haven't failed at anything unless you quit. Um, you know you're always going to be surpassing that person that either gave up or is still sitting on the couch there. So that, that's part one. Part two is really just taking a look in the mirror and reassessing what well, what else could you be doing to see the results that you want to see. Because uh, I think a lot of times. Um, we, we always look for the easy way out, and we don't really take that self-accountability. I know in my 
in my uh, experience, I haven't taken the accountability that I've needed to in my own fitness program. So sometimes it's just that quick look in the mirror and make sure that you're doing all you can and you're truly doing everything you can to see those results too. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions. <laughs> awesome. So thank you guys for watching the videos. Hopefully you check out everybody else's. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit of fun and shed some light on some of the trainers here. Uh, besides that, I'll see you guys on the floor and uh, have a great rest of your day.